Go ahead. Where the hell do y'all be finding these men that are obsessed with you? Check the friend zone. Good fathers? Check the friend zone. Can take care of you? Check the friend zone. Spoil you? Check the friend zone. <laughs> here's the catch. Here's the catch. Check your friend zone. When they're mad. Check your friend zone. Because I'm going to need one of them. Check it. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys think about that? What do you think? I don't like have it. any friends like that. It's funny. No, I think, it, I think it's true. Fun. For sure. Yeah, because the nice guys are usually in the friend zone. Yeah. And those are the ones that are going to treat you good. Yeah. But they're in the is. friend zone. Yeah. That's Which why it's like, good to why be are you friends with friend someone zone. before you date them. What's that? Be friends with someone before you date them. Like yeah, but friendship. the friend zone is like, different. that's different than oh. being, well. That's like they like you and you're degree. just like. Friend zone is like you're permanently in that zone. Like okay. you're not yeah. getting Like you don't anywhere. come back from that. They're Both men and women more. contribute to that because if men are sitting around willing to um, drool over a girl after she doesn't even show one ounce of reciprocation, that's also on him. But also, um, the females is weird for just keeping men around that they don't actually want. Because like, that's just people you're spending your time with and giving your energy that you don't actually want in the long run. Yeah. Can you scoot your mic? That's why you no, don't really edge of the table, friend please. zone guys because you already very, know what no, their intentions no, are. Edge, so it's like edge, you might as yep. well just... Keep going out of well, your life there we like, go yeah Love i don't have life. any like guy yeah, friends exactly. like maybe one in tennessee but it's like yeah, no guy friends they always so try is, to have is that a real thing like women like like guys that are just like going to treat them kind of crappy i don't Pretty think much. that i don't <laughs> think so yeah, like, i i want to be treated some good. girls don't like put them down you like and stuff and be like <laughs> you it. suck she likes or it. Is it just like or just like being rude. Would being rude be considered bad? Ew, I think that's disgusting. If a guy's not like, being not rude. Not like rude, but like like what I was saying. Like I like a guy to play games with me and stuff like that. I understand the teasing thing. Yeah. But, but the teasing like, thing, yeah. The teasing can be attractive, but I would say like not um, like being rude. Because that's when I, when I hear like being like that, that's what I think of. Seaburg donated $99. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank Taking you. Taking the easy road now tends to lead to a hard road later. If you take the hard roads now, they tend to lead you, you to the easy the roads later. Roads what is the easy road that so many women are taking to their hard future? Hard Push past your fears. Now. Do the hard things. That, that was beautiful. That should be. Uh, that sounds like a country song almost. Right. <laughs> a hard road. Taking that easy road. I got a chat here before it disappears from John. John says, "Can we talk about what non-physical traits on a guy is attractive?" Uh, we'll do that. Then I want to get into like the boring thing really quick because that's come up a couple times. We'll go around the table really quick on this. Uh, Non-physical. What yeah. What is attractive? Like so, like. Personality. personality. Oh, personality. We might have already... Did we, we kind, kind of, of touch it? Yeah. Yeah. We might we have talked it. about it. Bank store donated $99. Oh, no. D.I.D. Red laugh at her dad because her mom cheated on him and wrecked her home. Now she is on the same path. According to her dad, damn shame. <laughs> run, Mick, run. Stop being for the streets and find a guy like Mick. I just laugh a lot. and That's not funny at all, but I really do laugh a lot if you can't tell. Well, some people laugh in uncomfortable... Yeah, yeah I, 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 that's not, like, that's awful. I feel so, but, like, my dad went through a lot of the hard stuff, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that was hard on the whole thing. We have yeah. one from Grid One Motorsports. Uh, McKenna, can you read this for us? <laughs> Red is a perfect example of wasted youth. Your 20s are not for partying and being free. It is for learning how to be a good human and building your value, not adding bodies and baggage. Your response? Um, I partied when I was like in high school, like 15, 16, 17. I don't really party anymore. I don't do drugs anymore. I know I brought that up. Now everyone thinks I'm a drug addict. Oh. But no, I don't do that anymore. I don't even smoke weed anymore. I drink every now and then. Normally when I travel, like go to out of state or different countries and I go to clubs like in Europe and stuff. But uh, no, I don't really party like in San Diego. There's not really a good party scene there in my opinion. But. Wow! <laughs> uh, you said... Some guys are boring to you, I think you said. Did you say boring too earlier yeah. on in the conversation? Uh, who related to that? If a guy is boring, is that to turn off? Turn off. Yeah. You need like a guy to be to some degree toxic. Not toxic, no. but just that's like creative and is. like fun. They like okay. to that's do gonna stuff. have a different definition yeah. for everybody, I think. Yeah. Just like fun, like, creative. They like to do stuff. Adventurous. Would you prefer, but here's the thing though, some women would rather date a toxic guy than a boring guy. 
Because toxic is more entertaining. Yeah. I probably, yeah, toxic I guess I would. Probably toxic. Probably more entertaining. Now, I realize that a you lot can, of girls think they you can, can be not boring and also be not toxic. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. But Absolutely. It seems to me that, and I've mentioned this in previous shows, that a lot of women are looking to men when it comes to dating and relationships and a life partner. You're looking to men to be your entertainment. And like newsflash, I mean, men have been taught like, oh, you've got to be funny. Women like funny men. That's And look, obviously, the dating marketplace is very competitive. And as a man, you have to meet a million different criteria to be attractive to a wide array of women. But like my personal stance on this is, bro, we're not, we as men, we're not here to be your entertainment. And we ha there's a lot of men out there running around trying to be fucking dancing monkeys to entertain you. <laughs> like, oh, let me try to be a really entertaining guy. And I feel like, one, that does not necessarily make for a f strong foundation for a relationship. But I just, I, it's, it's on a couple levels. One, men have been told, you need to be really entertaining and funny and charismatic and all these things to attract a woman. And also we have a society which has basically rewired people's brains to be so focused on short-term pleasure seeking our attention spans are completely destroyed completely diminished you have tiktok which i mean that totally warps your brain and how you're like imagine trying to read a book after you just scrolled on tiktok for fucking two hours good luck i um, read books after you t is it is it nearly as entertaining as I just scrolling books. on TikTok, that's, fu that's fine. But I guess what I'm trying to say is, my view is, we as men, we are not here to be your entertainers. If you want to be entertained, Get if you want to be life. not bored, go watch Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not saying, like, as a guy, you shouldn't... To be competitive, I'm not saying, like, in the same way that, for example, I say, while I personally don't think men should pay on first dates, men should pay on first dates just to min max their dating success and dating results so you should min max your excuse me you should min max your personality and your charisma in order to be successful when it comes to dating but there's just like so many things that men have to do to be attractive to women uh so but i don't think it ought to be the case that men need to be these dancing monkeys so i feel like it goes both ways Go ahead. How does it go both ways? When, when like, is it ever the case that, do you, do you think, like, men go on dates and they're, like, secretly hoping that women are, like, really funny? No, but, like, how you said earlier, which it's appearance-based. Like, I don't like girls that have fake boobs or yep. fake lips. It, I mean, everyone has their type. Oh, sure. Yeah. So. Sure. But I'm not, I'm not really following. I don't know. Well, so I, don't why know I, I feel like I think not... she's saying like, why can't funny just be part of someone's type without yeah. it being no, I mean, act? You're like I, forcing something. No, to I be just. Funny. Well, I I accept that women are attracted to funny men, much in the same way that I accept women are attracted to tall men. For example, donated ninety nine dollars. There he is. Condoms Did do you not hear me? Protect from genital herpes, as evidenced by all corn stars being infected. What a filthy animal red must be. Panel, do not Whoa. touch her skin. It's dangerous. For the panel one by one, oh God, would you bro. sleep with someone with genital herpes? Jay Butler, do you know that we conjured you like an hour ago? Mm -hmm. Jay Butler, I, I did I what's the right word? Not conjure. We we summoned. We summoned you an hour ago to ask a uh, so the question is, would you just quick yes or no, would you date someone or what, what did he say date or sleep with? Sleep, I think you said. Sorry, let me Would you sleep with someone with genital herpes? No. Me? No. Hard no. 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 Not if I knew they had it. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, test results and like testing is really yeah. important. Mick? Especially in our industry. Uh, no, I, no, I would not. Madison? No. I would not. Uh, good talk. Wait, what, okay, we were talking about <laughs> A lot of people don't disclose that though. Can I add to that conversation? Yeah. Um, I actually really like boring men because I don't think they're actually boring they've they they value peace mm -hmm. um, yep. is what I've noticed so a lot of boring men are actually very ambitious in their careers um, typically take care of their bodies um, and um, have a job that they have to extend their mind and bodies to mm -hmm. so when 
like boring. It's typically guys that enjoy movies or relaxing, being able to add to their piece. So I value my piece too. So that somebody like that kind of adds to my piece and I can add to theirs. Yeah, I don't know. I see like on dating apps, I used to see this. Well, I'm not on dating apps anymore, but when I used to be, I'd always see like women say, take me on an adventure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm like, you're not that special. <laughs> like. I don't like the demanding of it, like how it's like they expect the guy to do it, but like it should be fun to like go on a trip with your boyfriend and it's like an equal thing. Yeah, but that's after you like dated yeah, them for after a while. You date. Like, you know them. That's kind of like an entitled way to like I think, approach. Yeah, I mean, I think when women say that there's like no chemistry or he's boring, translation, he doesn't trigger my anxious trauma response, which I confuse with love. That could be. Could be the legit. thing. I think it could be it. Could be it. Sorry, there's a fly. Uh, I have a lot of trauma books that I read about like stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, I think that and, would be awesome though. Like, go to a trip to like the Grand Canyon, like drive yeah. from LA, like like as your second date. You just, just do like that, you know, doing like, second date. Second date? No, second. you wouldn't no. even know them. That's a long car ride. Yeah, I'd, no, true. They I might kill know. you. Maybe yeah, you'd be like, too. actually, this okay. person what, is what what <laughs> number? Like fourth date? Fifth I would say like six months of dating. No, yeah, six like months. something like that. I think like six months. For me, anyways, I'll take you on our first dinner date six months. Oh, and, what? Yeah. Is that dinner like date? talking or actually dating, like committed in a relationship? Yeah. Dating. Oh. Wait. Maybe. So what are you doing up until then? Yeah, like what's going you on? Speak into the mic if you're. Sorry about that. What are you doing up until then? You said no dinner date until six months? Netflix You know, and like going out to a restaurant. Like so what's six months that? in, you know, come over. Come over and Netflix. <sighs> Let's just hang out. Oh my god! Just come over. So you're introverted Let's... to your house. I'm a I'm a homebody. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a homebody too. No, I mean I'm being a bit facetious, but like, uh, I mean... like that's what people say when they talk about boring, though. Like if you don't want to do anything and you just want to, yeah, you just lay in sit bed all day, play video that games all day. Yeah. yeah, I asked this guy to go <laughs> skinny dipping with me in the awesome. ocean, and he didn't want to go. Yeah, that's a little that's different. A fun thing to do. <laughs> that's like fun it. though. That's yeah. like spontaneous. I'm like, get naked and get in the ocean. If a guy asked me to come to his house on the first day, I wouldn't go. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. Cause it made me feel never like say never. Never say never. Never say never. Never say never.